Hello, Bill Molino here once again. Uh, Bill's history and wargaming world as I continue with the French Indian War board game volume one scenarios uh, available on Adventure Game Source, Fast Play War Games, and Historic Sites. Now, this is the Battle of Lake George, and this is, um, well, the site where Fort William Henry will be built. And uh, What's cool about this is I watched uh, or I attended a lecture at the French Indian War College at Fort uh, Ticonderoga a few years ago and the lecture was the Battle of Lake George here. Now in the different videos and books in uh, the War That Made America they talk about a grenadier unit. The British in their documentation said a grenadier unit was wiped out and routed here. But in the lecture I learned that there was no grenadier unit because it got captured on its ship prior to making it to North America. So it was a British propaganda ploy to make the British seem even better than what they were for this battle. We have Johnson here he gets shot in the shot in the buttocks, as uh, Forrest Gump would say. And I'm trying to add a little humor to my videos. And um, so let's get right to uh, playing. Uh, by this point, I presume you've watched a few of my videos. I'm not going to go through the movement values and all of that anymore. So um, the objective of the game is whoever kills four units first wins. They have to be eliminated. The British leader does not count as a loss. Um, for this, if he is um, uh, taken out on one through five roll, we'll just put him back here and say he got shot in the buttocks again. I um, so let's uh, let's start our game, and I got the die box here. The French are first, and of course we have natives that are on the side of the British and natives on the side of the French. Now of course here we go one two three we're going right after that here now my coup de bras, coup de bras uh, woods runners they take one hit they're gone so I'm sort of keeping them as reserve and these militia are the same way Militia are worse than provincials, and they will actually fall apart. So we have moved our units. I'm going to move the turners along. I don't want to bore people, so I'll try to keep these games going along. So Johnson's here with this unit, a 1 through 6 to hit. He's a 1 through 7 because we got Johnson, but the natives are in cover. So we are back to a 1 through 6. And we roll the five. These natives have been uh, been hit. And their morale check, they roll the two, so they're going to hold. Okay, these natives, in defensive fire, they get one die roll. And they're going to go for the line infantry. And they made it. They needed a one through five and roll the five. Line infantry flips over, and they do a morale check for a ten, so they fail. Now, this native unit can't advance because it was a defensive fire. So we have completed all our defensive fire. The, the British have done pretty good. So we're going to start off with this 1-3 unit needing a 1 or a 2 because of the cover. And they rolled a 3, so they didn't do anything here. And both of these units are going to fire. So the Indians, are, natives are coming in with a miss and a hit. And a miss and a miss. We're going to see if they're going to retreat on a one, two, or a three. And they roll the one. So they're good. So that that is our entire French phase. And now we go to, oh, flip over to the British phase. Now the British, right now, I learned from my battle of Monongahela to uh, fall back. So 
trying to build a defensive line. I'm uh, movement is only two, which is one because of woods. These units do not maneuver through the woods well. This native unit does. So that completes turn one. So let's go on to turn two of the Battle of Lake George. So my native here, I don't want to lose units because that's how you lose the game. So I'm setting him off to the side. We're going to try to... And I've had some questions about the Melise. I gave them a movement value of two and and no bonus through the woods. Um, I had some people, including people I reenact with as Melise, saying I should have made that a three or a green two. When you get your game, if you want them to be a three or a green three, just say they're a green three. Um, I can't believe the emails I get of people that say, oh, I should have done this or that. When you buy a Bill Molyneux game, um, go ahead and uh, make the changes that you want to make it your game. It doesn't have to stay a Bill Molyneux game. It can be a Dennis McKibben game, for instance. Well, our French have moved up on our turn two. These natives are going to fire on that. And they roll the ten. And these provincials are being attacked by the woods runners. And they roll the seven, which is a miss. So, this native's attacking, and he rolled a one. So he gets to advance to there. Now the wood runners are a one through five, becomes a one through four, and they rolled a seven. So now it's the British turn. Well, I'm going to spread out my line, and... I have this marshy area here, which is uh, cost um, two points to move into, and it also um, causes issues for units attacking out of. Um, so I have my defensive line. We have right now a score of one to uh, zero. Well. No firing going on there, so we're going to turn three, move the turn track chart. And this game comes with a very nice sheet that tells you all the different things that happen with different terrain. How many movement points it costs, the special movement points. Um, you know, we learned at the Battle of Monagahela, um, your artillery can't be dragged through the forest. So, let's continue on with turn three. The natives are going to continue to push there. I have reduced units. I don't really want to have them get hit at this point. Um, I guess it, somewhere I'm bringing in the Melise. So, we're taking our defensive fire. The Provincials are firing, and they scored a three, which is a hit. And our natives are going to roll their morale check, which is a 5. So they've been driven back. This provincial is going to go after that native. And it rolled a 2. And these natives have been flipped and reduced. And they failed their morale check. And um, quite bizarre, but it's actually following history a bit. Now, the French get the fire back with their Melisse, which is uh, 1 through 5, but they get cover, 1 through 4. They roll the 3. So we're going to flip this unit over, and we're going to check its morale. And it rolled a 10, so it's running back. Our Melisse can move up into that spot, which it does. Wow. Um, the British are pretty much holding, and it's now the British turn. Um, at this point, the British are going to advance here. And we're going to, Johnson's going that way, and that's where we're at. So the French will fire here, a 1 through 6 becomes a 1 through 5. They rolled an 8, so they missed. And the Melise is going to try to knock him off, and they do with a roll of a 1. So 
The French are now winning 2-0. to zero. They got to kill two more British units and they win the game. Uh, the British are going to fire back. This one through six fires with a two. The Melise is a one, two, or three for morale, but this unit fires and it eliminates the Melise. And now we have Johnson firing on that line troop and we roll the three. So, wow. It pays to fall back, form line, and not advance in the woods. I should have done that in the Battle of the Nagahila game, huh? Well, that's, uh, that's it for there. What do you say we go on to turn four? Um, it's a two-to-two -two game. My natives are all at reduced value. It's, um, I'm going to go with an all-out attack and... I don't think this is going to work. I think I'm going to get slaughtered, but um, we'll see what happens. This Provincial is going to fire at this unit, and it misses, thank God. This Provincial fires, needs a 5, rolls a 6. Johnson needs a 4, um, becomes a 3, becomes a 4 again. Rolls a 10. None of the British hit. If the British had hit, they would have won the game with these, if they killed two of these of the three. But die rolls were bad. Let's have this native attack. And he rolls a nine. This native attack rolls a two. That provincial unit's uh, been damaged and it holds in morale. We're going to have our woods runner attack there with a one. And the militia unit's gone. Look at that. So, let's see what happens to Johnson. One through five, he has been captured or killed. And we rolled a ten, so he can retreat here. He can retreat away. And our woods runner is going to go right in there. So that's where we're at. It's now a, a three to two game. British uh, movement phase. And the British are retreating back. They don't want to lose any more units. And if they stood there, they would have gotten shot at. So, I've learned from the Battle of Monagahela. Try not to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the units in the woods when you can't outmaneuver them. Well, we're going on to turn five. Turn tracker. Well, this is a... A fun little quick game with a little meat to it and uh, so you know I'm, I'm gonna do an, another all-out attack this native unit fighting in the swamp will be uh, just terrible <laughs> oh the uh, let's see what happens and I'm going to hold him back, and he misses. Johnson's going to fire here, and well, one through five, one through six, one through five. I rolled a five. The woods runner is gone. So now it's a 3-3 game. So the natives are now one, two, or three. He rolls a ten, and a one or a two. I rolled a ten. Wow. Wow. Well, it's the British turn, and uh, the switch over, and they have nothing. Uh, they could this could move here. You can move one space if you're still touching a, a unit. You have to stop, and this unit's going to move to there. So we're going to fire defensively, and he needed a one or a two, and he scored a three, which is a miss. This unit here. And it scored a hit. So, and this unit here scores no hit. But the morale is broken from the Provincials, William Johnson, and his one Provincial unit, Malice, or Militia, excuse me, fall back and leave the battlefield. The score is three. The French win by this, uh, destroying four. British units. However, as you can see in this game, it could have gone either way. 
Um, the big thing is in my system is this movement value of two or three in the woods, not in the woods. The green value makes a huge difference. Going in the swamp was a pretty risky thing. Um, so that's about it for this Battle of Lake George. Sidling Hill is the next one that's on the, on the list. I'm going to pause the camera for a moment. And I'm very proud of, of the pictures that I, I uh, have. In every scenario has a picture of reenactors. I know every one of these people. And uh, I'm sorry about the camera. I apologize greatly. Um, she is the drummer. I won't use her name at uh, Fort Niagara. Mike Malecki is in there, and Mike and uh, the, everybody in there belongs to Dumas French Unit, Regiment de Lorraine, or Fort Niagara. Well, that's about it. I'm going to set up the battle of Sidling, Sidling Hill, excuse me, and believe it or not, that's me right there. I do believe. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Leave a comment. You know, let me know what you think. Thank you.